interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you some breaking news. There's been reports all over the area of something crazy going on. Something big. People's homes, their minds even, are being taken over by something called... What is it they're calling it? They're calling it Bad Movie Debate. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nerds. Merry Christmas, nerds. We're fucking doing it. We're doing Christmas shit, and it's going to be fucking awesome. Yeah. All right. So, I'm Jacob. You know. Bad movie debate. You know. Who do we have here? Who is this? Who are you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Savannah. Nice to meet you, nerds. Yeah, that's right. She knows. She knows <laughs> everybody here is a fucking nerd. Um, especially me. So, it's fine. <laughs> Everybody's nerd, including me. All right. So, today, we're going to be doing a Christmassy, a Christmassy one. And it's going to be super exciting. And um, I'm just now remembering, I forgot to ask you your top five favorite Christmas movies to give you some pedigree. Do you have a top five favorite Christmas oh. movies? I'm thinking of mine right now as I speak. <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely do. I don't think they're all, I feel like I'm going to get some schlock because it's, you know, they're not traditional Christmas movies, some of them. Uh, number one, all time fave. Watch it all year long. The holiday classic. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Did you hear Holiday Two is coming out? It's not real. Nancy Myers has shut down the rumors. Oh, Daily that's Mail. So I know. That's Daily so Mail really fucked us. Got everyone excited, but yeah, no, it's Austin, not real. Austin was so hyped because we literally just watched it last week, and like the next day, she was like, "Oh my fucking god!" And it's not real. Great. That's well, that's it disappointing. Is, <laughs> it is not a sequel kind of movie, though. You don't mess with it's something true. that perfect that's true that's fair it is really good but anyway what else you got what else you got um another favorite is a more recent one have you seen klaus it's that cartoon netflix one it is so. so good it's like the origin story of santa claus oh, okay. kind of revolves around this little mailman and it is actually so funny and so good we watched it at work and i was just blown away you have to really? watch it it's very good yeah okay okay and that's I'll check it and out. that's that's a top favorite let's see i home alone all of them you know my favorite oh, is yeah. three which is wrong I, but that's I, I i know hot take <laughs> three is i mean i love the first two as well but yeah, dude. three i just i think i maybe i had it on vhs or something and watched it all the time it's one of those that's fair so that's maybe fair. i'm biased um, ha did you watch Happiest Season on Hulu a couple of years ago? No, yeah, I'm Kristen not. Kristen Stewart. I, so I am uh, Kristen Stewart now. <laughs> uh, I no. am. I am what Austin affectionately calls a Scrooge or a Grinch because I'm not a big Christmassy person in general. So I we have all are Halloween seen... people. <laughs> well, she's You're one or the other. She's well, no, she's both. She's a oh, healthy she's mix both. of both, and. Mm. Uh, I am just not Christmassy at all. So I haven't seen a whole, whole lot of them, but I have seen Well, that one's actually some. pretty... That one's not... I mean, it's definitely family drama. It's definitely Ooh. got a uh, coming out arc, and it's got uh, David from Schitt's Creek. It's oh, okay. very... It's very good. It's, I mean, mine aren't all very... I mean, besides Home Alone and whatever, I feel like mine aren't, like, the most nostalgic christmas movies but yeah um i mean they're nostalgic was that, for was you that five? yeah i guess so uh, i mean our our family christmas movie <clears throat> that i watched mm -hmm. with my entire family every year was love actually mm -hmm. there oh, is yeah, a is... whole porn subplot and i watched what? that with my family since <laughs> i was a child so <laughs> you know porn subplot it's... I've yeah, have you, you haven't seen no. Love Actually? Oh my god, no. it is a classic, but yeah, there's like, it follows like 10 different storylines, and one of them That's is insane. like, these two, like, I, I won't get in, I don't know what kind of podcast this is, but not, maybe I won't get into it, but. Uh, explicit, it's explicit. <laughs> explicit? <laughs> yeah, watch, fuck, uh, fuck, 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 see, it's fine. Ooh, the freedom. <laughs> yeah, no, so, you know. I've had a little bit like any black and white Christmas movie. Absolutely not. Like I, I don't even. Absolutely I hate not. black and white movies. So whatever that one is that everyone loves, like Miracle. It's a something. it's a Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street or it's yeah. a Wonderful Life. Those two. Yeah. No. Black, no. Black and white classics. 
That's I fine. hate black and white movies. For, I don't care for them either. I love black and white movies, but Christmas black and white is I'm I'm right there with most people on that. Um, yeah. So I got a couple. And right, I'm surprised you didn't say this one because the number one best one of all time is Christmas Story. Obvi. Mm, Kyle said the same uh, thing the other day. It's, yeah, he mess he messaged everybody being like, "Hey, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god, it's our so marital good. fights should say in the home." Just kidding, it wasn't a fight. <laughs> it just, you know, my cousins did. It was on all day. My cousins had it on all day. I don't want to see it all day. I, it just. I mean, you only have to pay attention once. You only have to pay attention once. You know. It, yeah, and it's so it is good. a good movie. I'll give you that, but... like come on <laughs> must be Italian like come on mm-hmm. so good I know so good that's a that's a that's my family favorite and like like we'll we'll quote that shit all year long like it's so funny and then so there's <laughs> that one and then the other family favorite with the extended family included is a uh, Christmas vacation of course oh lampoons yeah dude wait oh, okay I was like wait Wait, are we talking vacation where they go to like Wally World or something? No, Christmas vacation where everybody comes over and. and uh, Why did I not think that was called Christmas vacation? Oh yeah, it's God. called Christmas vacation. Yeah. I'm not a Christmas fan, obviously, if I can't get that one right. <laughs> it's okay. That one's amazing. I just made Austin watch it for the first time and she fell asleep during it because it was so late. It was so late. It was like fucking nine o'clock. And, uh, oh, she, I can't talk I that like, to me every day. <laughs> okay, well, fine. But I was like, I was like, you didn't even watch it. She was like, no, I did. I liked it. It was good. And she was like going to bed. And I was like, you didn't even see that shit. But whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Marital fights will stay <laughs> in the house. <laughs> in the house. No. And then, uh, and then I got uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the live action Jim Carrey shit. Oh, of course, that, that would have been on my gas. list. That shit is gas, dude. We watched it, it the other night. So putting up ornaments. It was oh, uh, yeah. It's just. It's just so good. It's the best. It's one of Jim Carrey's best performances, which is crazy, because um, he's got so many good ones. And oh, yeah. then I'm um, looking at a list right now because again I forgot to do this. Um, I'm not very good at this. Um, let's well, see. Well, if you're not Where's... a Christmas fan, it's hard. It is. It does make it harder. I, I'll put the holiday up there too. Yeah, <sighs> I'll put that in there. It's very, it's good. It makes Austin very happy. We watch it every year and stuff so i'll put it up there for that um, i had never seen it until she forced me to watch it um so <laughs> I'll, I'll put that up there and then you know what i'm gonna go ahead and be that guy and i'm gonna say fucking die hard dude <laughs> die hard that movie is a christmas movie it would not people are like it's not a christmas movie it has nothing to do with christmas yes it does he would not have been in la if it wasn't christmas yeah the movie well, wouldn't see, have no, happened. I, I won't fight you so, on this because the holiday is the yeah. same way it's like not very Christmassy. It's literally like only Christmas the last couple of minutes yeah. of the whole movie. So yeah, but it I, takes I'll, it takes place over Christmas time, right? Yeah. yeah. So exactly. you could have you can have Die Hard. I, I'll give it to you. I'm not one of those. I, I'm not a person yeah. that will fight you on it. Fuck yeah! Thank God. Thank God. Um, <laughs> all right. So today, now that we know, now that we know what we're doing and how we feel about Christmas movies, we got some good ones. We both got some good ones uh, on our list. I would say. Um, but today we're going to be talking about one that apparently is not good, which I vehemently disagree with. We're talking Jingle All the Way. Ooh, it's so good, right? It's so good, right? So good, yeah. It's it's so good. Good. All right, thanks for listening, y'all. We'll be back yeah. next it's time. So, it's so mediocre, yeah. No. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay. Well, I guess we're still here. <laughs> Never mind. Um, okay, so as I mentioned on my uh, little last filler episode um so tyler uh last time i saw uh tyler in person he uh pointed something out to me he said he was like hey man like i think you should do your instagram polls for your movies before you post your episodes and i was like oh yeah why and he was like well i feel like people are like hearing whatever you say or like seeing whatever your opinion is and then they're like voting against you to like make you look dumb and like (laughs) make your point look bad and i was like oh fuck you really think people are doing that and he was like yeah of course i do because that's what i do every time (laughs) so (laughs) i was like all right cool tyler i guess i'll start posting them before so people can give me their 
more genuine opinion. So that's what I did with this one. And uh, the the people on Instagram said 55% good, 45% Ooh. bad. Which worth a debate. That's worth a debate not, for sure. And uh, you know, but also I'm runway. like, damn, it was I'm like, damn, it was pretty close. I guess <laughs> I guess it would have probably been a hundred percent bad if I had if we had put this out <laughs> before I put that up. Because that that's usually how it goes, besides like my my vote. Um Well, everyone loves to disagree. I mean that's true. So that's Arguing. probably it's fine. <laughs> Are you fine? Is fine. It. it can be. It's oh, fine, yeah. Fine. Um Okay, so that's that score. But then we got Rotten Tomatoes and all that shit as we do. Rotten Tomatoes, nineteen percent critic score, Oof. which is pretty fucking low. Um, I think that's that the second low. lowest we've ever talked about. Last Airbender was the lowest, and rightfully so. Oh. The Last hmm. Airbender, oh my god, so fucking bad. Yeah, go listen to the one with me and Justin to hear more about that. Oh, uh, I know. It, I didn't even realize. So bad. Okay, yeah, it's so bad. Um, and then 39% audience score. So not even the people liked it. <laughs> not even just the regular old people uh, for the most part. And then IMDb is a 5.7, which is typical IMDb shit. Like right in the middle. Like yeah. everything is always right in the middle unless it's fucking the best movie that's ever been made. And then um, Metacritic, 34. Their critic, uh, their uh, meta score is 34, which is pretty shit um and then their user score is 7.3 out of 10 which is hmm. like okay super high which is weird but yeah i don't know we'll get into it we'll talk about it all right now i got a couple of good quotes um this uh i got a couple of quotes uh, a good and a bad as i do and so this one this first one is from wade major for box office magazine whatever that is and he says, quote, Jingle All the Way won't win any awards for believability, but as purely escapist family entertainment on a grand scale, it's a tough act to beat. Hmm. Hmm. So it's some good family hmm. entertainment, even though it doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. Which I agree I with. Agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. But this guy, this other guy, I love oh, this boy. quote so much. I think it's so funny. Um, from a... Uh, Jeffrey Westoff for Northwest Herald, Crystal Lake, Illinois. Um, I had to go digging for a a really good one. Uh, And this (laughs) one is, Jingle All the Way won't become a holiday chestnut, but it does deserve to be roasted. Ooh. (laughs) And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Ready to roast. I was fucking rolling the other night when i was looking these up i was like oh my god that's so fucking funny this dude came with a fucking clap back ready to mm-hmm. go <laughs> fucking, oh yeah oh my god it's so funny um yeah love that oh my god <laughs> so okay so as we've as uh as has been established i'm gonna be saying it's a good movie because it is and savannah's gonna be saying it's a bad movie which it is not um but <laughs> what's something that you did like what's the what's the the diamond in the rough of this movie for you because i got some i got something i'd like to say that i did not like of course well my favorite part which is not even really a part but i wrote this very early on in my notes because just to preface Mm. i did not see this when i was younger never saw Mm. it as a kid which i think is important to note very early on i only just watched it for the first time the other day Love a good cul-de-sac. Love a dead-end family Christmas cul-de-sac. This is probably going to come from my interior designer roots, but I'm like, ooh, <laughs> love the house. Perfect stone house, red door. <laughs> so that's my favorite part. But I also love, you know, you love a good adventure. You love a good, mm-hmm. there's a task, got to complete it. Mm-hmm. He's on you a know. journey. He is on a journey, which I can appreciate that part mm-hmm. a bit, I suppose. <laughs> I, you know, I I did almost compare it to Home Alone the whole time, which is not really, but it is kind yeah. of like a, ooh, you're going and then there's a whoopsie and then you're going and there's a, uh oh, it's like, it's very much. Yeah, but there's no wet bandits. Type. There's no wet I, bandits. There's a mailman in the form of Sinbad. Uh, 
Yeah, dude, Sinbad's so good. We, I have so I much mean, to say about Sinbad. <laughs> he, he's blown, he, he blew my whole fucking mind. Uh, I was like, I cannot believe this is a children's movie with the, some of the oh, shit. Oh, I there. know. <laughs> I feel like it's that's ridiculous. every childhood movie we watch. It's always like, it's a, ooh, maybe this oh, is this not way. age I have too a, well. I have, I have a couple very particular things we're going to get into in a little bit about how the fuck this was allowed. But um, real quick, my... um. My dislike was um, I didn't like that the whole point was like consumerism focused angle of Christmas. Like it wasn't about like it wasn't like I mean, like he was trying to get the toy for his kid. Yeah. But like it was all about getting the toy. You know what I mean? And then at the very end, it's like, oh, it's about family and stuff. It's like, you know, most Christmas movies are, you know, they have like some kind of like being together and like Mary and like some kind of something like that and stuff. But this Mm -hmm. was all about Arnold trying to find the toy for his kid and like all the other people going crazy trying mm-hmm. to find it and shit like and i was like okay this is a very like consumerist like agenda yeah. on and like i mean sinbad literally has that conversation with him when they're in the diner and he's like my dad didn't get me this toy and i've been fucked up ever since <laughs> like more or less like yeah. he's like what like so not I'm like, the I, true I meaning of christmas for sure yeah i don't i don't i don't like that uh at all. Yeah, plus but, it's all these parents that have all fucked up, have all waited yeah. until Christmas Eve yeah. to get this one present that all their kids want. Uh, but you know what? Mm. Not to uh, talk about a different show, but it was very much giving me Dwight vibes when he bought all the My Princess Unicorn toys or whatever. Oh, yeah, dude. And yeah, all the dude. parents <laughs> are scrambling and he has yeah, bought dude. them all. And fucking, so, uh, what is it? Toby gets the, uh, is Toby? The fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Toby. Is that his name? Oh yes. my god. How did oh you forget? God, I, don't know. I don't know. God, I was like, I said it and I was like, that doesn't sound right, but it is. And he gets the fucking, <laughs> uh, he buys the, uh, the black one. <laughs> yeah. And, he's like, and then so he's like, Daryl, he's so disappointed. And he buys it from Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> and he's so disappointed. He's like, what? And he's like, what's wrong with it? Like what's up? Mm-hmm. Like what, what's wrong with it? Like why is this one yeah. wrong? Yeah. Oh my god, that's just so. Funny. It's what very much like the Santa selling him the the broken one, the bilingual yeah, the, uh, one. The bilingual one. Yeah, yeah and he's like, what? You don't want that? Spanish. It? Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, so I think first and foremost, the thing that I want to get into, which I shouldn't love, but I love about this movie. Um, can we can we please talk about Ted? the neighbor yes oh, oh my, my god. I have fucking like three god. notes at least minimum about oh him oh my god fucking ted he was blowing my mind dude this oh ted my god. fucks dude ted is out here trying to get all the moms and i like, know and once the like one that's not available that's just typical the first one of the first things we hear from ted at the karate practice like the karate event thing He's filming and shit, and one of the moms is like, "Oh, can you fix my uh, porch light? Uh, it's like not working." And he's like, "Oh yeah, I got the right tool for that." Like, mm. ex- yeah. excuse me. Maybe. Yeah. No. And that- oh, hold on one sec. Hold on one second. Your microphone's uh, being weird. I can't hear you. Oh. What? You're cutting out. Oh no. I can't hear you. Oh my god. Wait, there we go. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Noise came out. Anyway, uh Technical fucking difficulties people, so sorry. Yeah, these things happen. Um it'll be fine. But uh yeah, Ted. Oh yeah. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, you know, in retrospect when I look at it, I'm like, okay, are all these moms actually flirting with him or are they just like oh we know this thing lad we'll do what we want if we throw on the charm a little bit because i mean he's not your typical looker per no. se no and, and, who, was, oh my God. and nobody really not not to knock a single dad but i'm like it's not everyone's first choice on a list because no. you know you got the kid a little bit of baggage so yeah but then he of course goes after the one mom who's not available mm. So me and Kyle watching it back are like, it, are they married? Are they divorced? Like, it doesn't really, it's not really clear if they're actually together at the very Who? beginning. So there was a bit of confusion. Arnold and, Arnold and, and Rita. Liz. 
<laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know their character names. I know the actress's name. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, um, it doesn't really, it, it kind of seems like it's one of, because he's at work, you know, and then yeah. he's trying to get to his son's karate practice. So you're like, okay, maybe it's just their exes and he's just coming to the thing. So just at the very beginning, it was a little That's confusing. True. So we were like, That's is true. that her, is Ted her boyfriend? I don't know. No, he's that the wasn't, fucking neighbor. That wasn't, I don't know. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't set up clearly for a first time watcher, I will say. Well, what I love about Ted is, uh, He's just so goddamn bold. He's just so goddamn bold. And then, like, it's so fucking funny because he gets the fucking – so he gets the reindeer. And his kid's like, oh, I named it Ted after my dad. And then um, uh, Jake Lloyd, the kid, which is little baby Anakin Skywalker, by the way. Uh-huh. Oh, I, was, as, oh, I as know. Soon as, he came up, as soon as he came up, I was like, oh, my fucking God, it's Anakin. Anakin. Uh, Anakin. I totally forgot. I was like, that's amazing. Yeah, it's little Annie. Um, but um, so he runs into the house all upset and shit. And um, – and then Arnold calls, and he's like, "Where's your mom?" And he says, <laughs> "She's next door petting Ted." Oh my god, I know it is. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. Insane. It's insane. And then I love, uh, but like in that same scene too, or like right before, he's the, his son's like, "Oh yeah, my dad used to not always be like this until my mom left." <laughs> Yeah, maybe your like, parents maybe, should get yeah. divorced too. Maybe your parents should get divorced too. It's been a lot better. It's My dad's been, been so an much, actual cool guy. Yeah, he's been cool because he's trying to slay pussy all over town. Like oh he's my God, fucking I know. insane. Like it's ridiculous. And he fucking and then like when he's over there, uh, when they're uh, she's like baking and shit, and he like takes the apron off of her. Like he literally undresses her and says, "Go get yeah. in the shower." Like mm-hmm. what? Like yeah, talk about something that has so not funny. aged well. No, this, is, uh, this is this is pre me so too movement. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. And I'm just mm-hmm. like, but I think it's, but I just think it's so fucking. I just think his his character is so fucking funny. I just think it's. I'm just like, holy shit, because it's like I okay, here's his like, nemesis. <laughs> yeah. And I have like all caps. Ted is like the ultimate skis bag. Yeah, yeah but I mean, he's got, some, bag. he's got some balls to go up against, uh, you know, it's bodybuilder like Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm saying, dude, I, I, I have that somewhere in my notes to be like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, this dude, yeah. like, like Arnold could beat the shit out of you, like, no questions asked. Yeah. It's so fucking funny. Um, oh, but then, okay, um, but can we talk about, yes. speaking of the reindeer, and he can beat someone up, Arnold acts like he's gonna hit someone the entire movie doesn't yeah. and then hits a reindeer in the face yeah but then he gives the I'm reindeer calling, beer <laughs> uh, uh-uh. i'm calling Peta immediately you're calling yeah no. I, don't, I think I, I don't know if, i don't know if they'll it's almost it's a 20 a statute, oh, almost statute like limitations is out yeah, yeah probably, maybe yeah. but uh he, do, he gives him beer though after Mm, okay, you know well. when he's down on his luck he's like hey man so sorry bro let's have some beer you know well he didn't let the reindeer get a hit in if he would have let the reindeer kick him in the face i'd have been like all right even fight fair yeah that's the reindeer's true. being held on to by a fucking leash so okay that's anyway that's all i'll say about it but you know what i'm upsetting. gonna say <laughs> i'm gonna say it's ted's fault for getting a fucking reindeer yeah true and then he just has yeah. it like loose in his backyard no offense yeah. No, he's like, I don't give a fuck. Oh, well, I mean, because that's the whole thing. Because when he shows, when Ted shows, he's like, yeah, I got this reindeer, and I'm gonna release it into the wild later. And then Arnold drives away. He's like, he like yanks on the leash, and he's like, come on, like piece of shit, like yeah, you, like like they show you that it's all an act, mm-hmm. like uh, at every turn. Because then when uh, Liz goes to take a shower, he like burns his hand on the cookies, and he like, and the kids are being loud, and he like screams at him to like yeah. shut the fuck shut up the fuck and up. stuff. He's like, shut up! Like, stop in there! Like, oh. like mm-hmm. he's like immediately turns it off. Like, I just think, I just think his character is fucking funny. Yeah, um, we can debate another... who's the worst dad, Ted or okay. I I gotta figure what's uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character's name. I gotta I gotta get this. Uh, oh, you don't know no either. Idea. Okay, good. Just, All right, he's I, Arnold then. No, yeah, he's just Arnold, and then Sinbad <laughs> okay. is then bad uh, for the rest <laughs> of it. Ted. But Ted it's is not Ted. important, and Ted is dead. Um. Okay, but like speaking of how dark this movie is, um, and how I loved it, uh, uh, two two very dark things, um, when that I thought were hilarious, and I'm just like, holy shit, I can't believe they went for these. Uh, fucking when um when they're at the store with the the lottery balls thing, right? Mm-hmm. 
and all those people uh, jump on Sinbad, um, like tackle Sinbad and like dogpile on him. He's literally going, he's going, Rodney King, Rodney King, because he's being like crushed. And like, that is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> like, that is Wait. ridiculous. I'm sorry. Who is Rodney? I don't know. I don't know that reference. Rodney King, uh, back in the, like the LA riots back in the nineties, he was, uh, he was killed by the LAPD by being crushed to death oh, crushed? and stuff. Oh, and no. like, and like they make a direct reference and bad is literally like Rodney King, Rodney King as he's being like, oh, crushed no. by a okay, bunch of yeah. white people at the store. <laughs> like it's, <laughs> Ooh. Uh-oh. Not See, that's the thing though. That's the that's an oof, but the even bigger oof, and I had I double checked this. Uh, you remember the whole uh like mail bomb thing? Yeah. <laughs> when he's like, okay, um, so this movie came out November. Where is it? I have it in my notes somewhere. This movie came out November sixteenth, nineteen ninety six. Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, who <laughs> mailed bombs, got caught April 3rd, 1996. <laughs> and Ooh. they made a whole scene about mail bomb jokes. <laughs> the oh. same year that the Unabomber finally got caught. They were like, he's caught. It's fine. <laughs> like, we can totally yeah. get away with this and everybody will think it's so funny. They're like, like, it's already gone through production. We can't like, take it back now. He says it so many times. It doesn't just come up once. It definitely like, comes up at least twice, I think. Yeah. yeah. That, I, in my, I, didn't even think, I didn't even think about that because I'm like, you know, it's pre-9-11. Well, that's what I was like. I was it like, wasn't a bomb, but it's still like. I was just like. I yeah, was like, hold up. I was like, this is, I was like, when did, I was like, this movie came out in the nineties. Like that's when he got caught. Like it's literally the same year. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, <everybody>. That is <laughs> that, good so, catch. I would have never thought about that, but that it's is so fucking funny. I love it though. And that's, I think it's fucking hilarious. And I'm like, wow, I can't believe they went for it. Hell yeah. They this really? movie's great. <laughs> and They're like, like let's more- add some humor to the situation. Let's really, yeah. you know, try to bring some, Haha, to the people some some levity to the situation yeah and then but that's the thing though because they fucking they just like quadruple down because when the cops show up and sinbad pulls the bomb thing again he's like oh yeah like it's a bomb and he's like i'm a mailman so you know uh, i work he says i got it right here actually i work for the post office so you know i'm not stable yeah (laughs) which like and we all know that to be true (laughs) and we all know that going postal (laughs) like going postal that phrase is about fucking mailmen shooting up places because they go insane that's what that is going postal means so much going postal means going postal is a phrase like it's a phrase for like you're like going like you're you're gonna go off like gonna go gonna go crazy and because it's a direct it's a reference to like like mass murders by male uh male persons because they fucking uh the way they used to have to do it it'd be like you'd literally like you'd have like half a second to like look at something on a like a piece of uh fucking mail going through mm-hmm. like a thing and you'd like half a second to make sure it was like correct or like it needed to go that way or that way and you would do that like all day for like eight hours and it like literally like oh it, like, my people go insane yeah like it messes oh, with God. your brain like yeah. and so eventually pe- they just like went off and that that's what going postal <laughs> comes from oh my and, God. Needs. and he makes a fucking reference to that while he's in the middle of making a reference to the unibomber oh my god that like, is wild yeah i mean me and kyle watched this and our jaws literally dropped when they left and then the bomb actually did go off because right. we were like it hadn't flashed to the cops yet and we were like they just murked all these cops i mean they're <laughs> dead now yeah, i mean how's, be dead. how's the cop gonna come back around but then of course he's like oh no it just like singed his hair and then a, and an hour hands. later he's at the parade totally fine Plot no hole. his hands his hands are all fucked up he's got bandages oh, yeah, his on his hands which is something that happened to one of the victims of the unabomber oh my god <laughs> like, like that is a direct Whoa. reference to a victim and like i'm not trying to make fun of any victims but I think that shit is funny as fuck that they were so <laughs> bold to do a Unabomber reference the same year that motherfucker got caught. Like, yeah. 
that's so fucking it's so crazy it's great movie of yours just so really good. went there it's so good and then i love sinbad because when he first meets him he's i mean he's funny as fuck and then he goes on his whole tangent about uh i mean they kind of like i said i didn't like that they uh i didn't like the consumer's angle of the movie but he kind of like 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 he's like self they're like self-aware of it in the movie because he says like oh like he's like this is all the all the toys are just like they're making all these shows just so we can buy the toys and like the mm -hmm. and like and that's true like that like transformers gi joe thundercat he-man like those all were shows that were made to sell toys like they, right. were not, they didn't they did not have any other they weren't supposed to have any other merit past that you know i right. mean they're awesome like they're fun to watch like uh actually but like that the whole point was to sell toys and he goes on that whole tangent and i'm like oh, okay so like they're self-aware like they know that mm -hmm. this is like a heavily consumerist angle but like they know about it at least so yeah did so your question did your parents ever let you buy anything off of infomercial infomercial i can't say that word infomercial no but i do remember i remember one time i called like just on my own and they were like <laughs> you're no, like what's you're your parents credit card no. and you're like what's a credit card yeah, they were I'm like, you're this. a child now. <laughs> like, you're like, no, you can't do this. You have to be 18. It was something from, it wasn't an infomercial, but it was something from, uh, I think it was like a Nickelodeon thing, like oh, SpongeBob yeah. related or something. They were like, absolutely not. Hang up the phone. They, I was like, okay. <laughs> they let us do it you? one, one oh, time. Right. It was like, it was whatever that toy was. It was like a black sheet of plastic. And when you drew on it, it was a rainbow, whatever that thing oh, was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was the best day ever. It was, I was like, this is the greatest <laughs> moment of my life. My parents are letting me buy something. It's like right up there with the Scholastic Book Fair. But oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that whole scene with Sinbad is wild. I literally have in my notes. Uh, dude just choked out a woman and she <laughs> is fine with it. Just She's totally, keeps on everybody's walking. Everybody's totally fine with it, yeah. No one says she a gotta word. She got to get that toy. She got to get that turbo man, toy. dude. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe that was a 90s thing, but I'm like, uh, okay, well. Oh, yeah. No, the 90s, line. 90s humor was mm -hmm. something else for sure, yeah. even for kids' movies. Like, you couldn't do that. You could only do that in, like, an R-rated movie. Maybe a PG-13 movie now, but, like, this is a PG movie, and they're making yeah. all these really dark things. Which again, Is that what it's rated? I didn't I look at it. It's rated it's PG. PG. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So they're like, okay, like, a kid can't just watch this. Like, a parent should be there to watch this with them, you know, but... Yeah. It's still fine. <laughs> still fine if they come across it, which is yeah. just absolutely fucking insane. And then I fucking love the, um... Oh, my God, what is it? The, um the like black market toy oh, yeah, the Santa. with all the santas that's mm -hmm. so fucking funny it's so fucking oh, I know. funny and then it's I such a, a great subplot i have a uh i just thought the movie was like genuinely just like actually really funny because like when he's driving the dude to the warehouse he keeps asking all the questions the santa goes what are you dan rather what is this 60 minutes <laughs> like yeah, stop seriously. asking all these questions and i'm uh -huh, like just oh roll my with God. it i'm like that's fucking hilarious that's so fucking funny and then the way he uh he gets out of there with the toy with the fake badge <laughs> it's like i'm oh fbi God, and you fucked up this whole thing like and that's the thing i will that say this is, pretty some, great. this is something that's so stupid with the cop like this the same cop has given him two tickets in the past couple of days and he can't find him yeah seriously like, yeah like he you have his address you took <laughs> you yeah, took he his took info, his down, info twice. down like you can't just show up at his door and be like hey bro you're going to jail <laughs> you impersonated yeah. an fbi agent you uh were involved with a bomb <laughs> a mail bomb <laughs> like seriously escape, like ran right away like yeah, they're not oh looking for him. They're just going to the you town just parade. Just fucking going you know, to the parade, getting a fucking hot dog. Time. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, I, the whole time I was like, and even when I was thinking back on it, I was like, where are they supposed to be? Like, what town? And then I'm like, oh, Mall of America, wherever Mall of America mm. is. I'm like, Minneapolis. Like I don't, it's, yeah, yeah, it's like Minnesota. It's up north somewhere. Because I was like, mm. are they supposed to be in like Chicago? Like, how are we supposed to be like in a small town, big town? I don't yeah, know. They I kind of know. like bounce, bounce between the two, but. Some standard, yeah. some standard <laughs> ass uh, Midwestern city, you know? Yeah. But yeah, this yeah. random cop just keeps running into Arnold. I mean, it's a totally, totally movie move. I mean, that happens. Oh, yeah. All, it's super, all the time. It's super, 
it's super schlocky like it's like okay cool um but i love uh oh god i just love this movie <laughs> it's so fucking funny. <laughs> like and then like okay but then so that's all the like dark stuff that's funny but it's good and it's nice with um with his son you know what i mean like they set it up like his son loves uh like when he goes into his room uh at the beginning he like he's like a captain america on the wall and like wolverine mm-hmm. like, bed sheets and stuff like his kid love and he's like reading a turbo man comic because he's mad while well, he's mad at his dad and stuff like he uh like they set up the um the superhero thing like his love for superheroes and like that he wants his dad to be a superhero super well and then like through his journey he becomes turbo man and actually gets to save him and at the end he gives um uh, little annie gives uh sinbad the toy because he's like i don't need this like i got like my dad's the real turbo man like my dad's my hero and it's just like oh they eventually make their way there you know and i'm like oh oh all the feels so sweet yeah it's so nice well, see, and i went the opposite way i was like this dad He's a piece of shit. I mean, he okay. <clears throat> never home. He's never home. It's an issue. He's never home. Always at work. All the things. He's forgotten his kids' kids Christmas present. So then he has to spend all Christmas Eve, which to me is a big day. I love Christmas Eve. I love Christmas Day. Yeah. Spends all Christmas Day gone, just nowhere to be seen. Calls in every once in a while and is like, "Uh, I'm no, I'm not home yet. Whatever." Has forgotten the gift. He's never around. And then he stumbles upon, it's not like he planned he's not like he called someone and was like hey can i be turbo man he accidentally yeah. run away from the cops mm-hmm. Again. stumbles into this <laughs> warehouse doesn't know what mm-hmm. he's doing mm-hmm. and then oh he's the he's the superhero because he can pick a kid in the crowd oh easy that's easy i'm gonna pick yeah. my own kid yeah. and then oh he's the superhero because he would do what any other parent would do which would be save their kid from a postal post office worker like that he knows is like off his hinges yeah i think any parent would probably do that i'm not giving him any extra points for no, dude, but like, actually doing what a dad think about should it, do think about it <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Uh, but think about it from from his son's point of view like he got to be in a turbo man action sequence and his dad was turbo man how fucking sick is that? And you gotta, and you know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, uh, assume that after all of this, you know, he takes time off work and spends more time with his family. You know what I mean? He learns what happens when he isn't just with his family and stuff like that. Like he learns that. That it, uh, one would hope. I would hope so. But I definitely I would say do. It's implied. <laughs> it's implied. Uh, yeah, that, it is implied. But my. My last note is definitely this kid is so fucked. He apologized to his dad for something. <laughs> I don't even remember what. He was like, sorry, dad. Something, something, something. Well, like, so like, like the kid's like, taking blame for he, something. And I'm like, he says, no. uh, he says that he's, uh, before he reveals that he's Turbo Man, he's like, oh, yeah. Me and my dad got in a fight on the phone. Like, I yelled at my dad on the phone. And yeah. He and he's like, it's like, all like, my, it's there. all my and fault. He's like, my he dad. doesn't even yeah and stuff like yeah. that which i mean is like i mean yeah, it's a very kid. realistic like like yeah interpretation of how a kid would feel in a situation like that so yeah and he's gonna need therapy know. when he's older that's all i'm saying absolutely like, yeah, regardless, of, is, regardless of getting this fucking fuck toy <laughs> yeah my dad will only love me if my life is actually in danger <laughs> yeah seriously he's only and there he for me and if he doesn't show up in a turbo man outfit then i'm fucked <laughs> Yeah, if he doesn't accidentally stumble upon one of the greatest things cause that could happen in this situation, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I just, yeah, but like, but like, yeah, again. I agree. I agree, though. It is in the grand scheme of things, this is the kids' dream come true, and they do wrap it up nicely. But when you really mm-hmm. think his, about it, I'm like, oh my god, this <clears throat> fucking dude. And his wife is like, she's like so turned on by the whole situation. Oh yeah, of course. She's like, yeah. she's like. Like everybody's freaking out, and she's like, "Oh yeah, that's my husband." Like, yeah, she's ooh, gonna be like, mm. "Leave that on, baby. Oh me, yeah, at home, me at home. <laughs> ooh, yeah, like go to go play at Ted's house, whatever your name is, little Annie. Like, go, <laughs> go Annie. get out of here. You gotta go." Mm-hmm. But again, as Wade Majors tells us, won't win any awards for believability. Yeah, that is family, true. Family entertainment. 
that's yeah. tough to beat. I know. Be great. I love it. I think it's I so know. funny. It's so funny in the most fucked up way, which I was not expecting because I probably haven't seen this since I was like a small child. Yeah. Like I was definitely, I, I don't remember the last time I saw it, but I was, I definitely did not, I didn't know anything about the Unabomber or anything like that at the time. Yeah. So I was just like, haha, like this is fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, one of my notes no. is it's, it's a combination, which I've already said, but I'm like, it's a combination of Home Alone. And then did you ever watch that DCOM movie, Up, Up, and Away? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. We that were at the good. end and we were like, okay, not just a nod to superheroes, but also like, okay, like kind of like the family dynamic where the parents are never around. It was just like very much mm. like. That's the that, one with the. That's, I, that's the one with like their kryptonite is aluminum foil, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is so fucking stupid but so funny. oh my god it was so I mean, funny i think we watched it during covid when we got disney yeah. plus and everything uh and oh, yeah, oh, it's, yeah it was still <laughs> so good. it's a decom movie you know you watch those back and you're like oof i watched oh, yeah. i sat in front of the tv for 15 minutes and watched this but yeah that's uh <laughs> that was definitely one of my notes they i i definitely one of my notes too was that they had that same christmas song or christmas jingle that's in every 90s christmas to me that like yeah dude like yeah the, the, the standard the, like running through the mall like just, oh yeah it's the i definitely wrote that down because i was like you know i've never actually thought about it until i've been forced to write notes on a movie but <laughs> i uh that's definitely in like almost everyone definitely oh, yeah. every home alone but Oh yeah, it's a standard. It's a standard in like Christmas movies, mm -hmm. like uh, back in the day, at least like '90s and shit. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I don't know. The only other thing I really have to say, uh, we can all agree that uh, Booster is lame as fuck. It's haunt my <laughs> dreams. That was my first note. Was what the fuck is this thing? Because I didn't know what the movie's really about to begin with, and I was like, um, what the hell is that? I mean, and it comes later, out hard as fuck. It's like, yeah, it comes. Uh, he is like the first thing that's on the screen. Like, I know it's the fucking episode of the show. <laughs> and then they come back. I wrote down later because I was like, this is supposed to be a tiger. They they reference it yeah. as a tiger, and I'm like, in what world? I mean, maybe like I guess like a saber tooth or something. Strange. It's like a saber tooth, but it's like. But I'm like, why would Turbo Man fucking pink? <laughs> I'm like, why would Turbo Man's assistant or partner in crime be this wa a pink monster that <laughs> yeah. looks like it can barely move around i don't know i was I just know. like they really need to they really need to expand the turbo man world and give us more answers on that because like i know I, I, I was very confused by that too but i did think it was funny how the whole time everybody was like oh we got booster and yeah but like we got a booster <laughs> we got a booster yeah. though and everyone's like and at the end when um sinbad kicks the booster off the float at the parade all the kids like run up and like beat the shit out of them they're like we hate you booster and yeah like, we hate you shit. <laughs> like we hate yeah. you like which is so <laughs> funny because the actor the actor who was inside that costume is just mm. like your typical like piece of shit like yeah. his voice just cracks yeah, his me voice. Up yeah oh my god he's yeah, got that is. uh god for, oh gilbert goffrey type voice yeah, yeah, like, exactly. but he's just like chain smoking a cigarette yes, chain smoking. Where the whole time <laughs> yeah we're like... waiting for you <laughs> yeah that it's part like, they cracked me up like... that, 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 that's I'm who they picked to put inside that costume at the very end it's like yeah that checks out right and then but... fucking uh jim belushi being uh the fucking santa that rips him off is fucking hilarious <laughs> oh is that who that was i kept looking it's at him jim being like belushi, i yeah I should have double checked the cast while we were watching, but I was trying to pay so much attention. Yeah. Okay. That I was like, yeah, I recognize him, but I couldn't figure out from where. It's but so also, funny. that was the first time I've actually even I've heard the name Sinbad so many times, but I've never actually put oh, two yeah. and two together that that's who Sinbad is. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Like He's the other hilarious. podcasts He's I listened good... to, they talked about him like for an entire episode, and I was like, I need to figure out who Sinbad is because <laughs> it's just He's like fucking... He's apparently so fucking He's somebody. Funny. He um. Yeah. Do you okay? So this is completely irrelevant, but I have I like to ask people when it comes up. Uh, do you remember Sinbad being in a genie movie? Okay, the my the my uh, uh this is the my, Mandala. Mandala effect. Yeah. yeah, me. Okay, well, yeah, me and Kyle did talk about this because I was like, yeah, I think so. He was like, 
blue uh was he blue or is he not blue are we just thinking no. of aladdin as being blue You're thinking of, see it's a it's a apparently everybody is getting it's a a mix of like thinking about aladdin and uh shack was in a genie movie called kazam oh, but it's like yeah. and sinbad was in a movie called house guest uh i think and he's like uh and um i think it's called house guest but I I remember Sinbad being in a genie movie. <laughs> like I swear to God, it had happened, but apparently that's not the case. Uh, oh, which that's is so weird. weird. Isn't yeah. that weird? That whole, yeah, yeah uh, that whole thing freaks me out. It's like, super weird. The whole concept behind it all affects. I've gotten into it so many times with people. I get into it more so. I feel like because I have sorry again off topic, but like I I have some of the most lucid dreams, oh, and yeah, I can't dude. ever remember if they're a dream or real life and so then i just absolutely confuse myself because it'll oh, be yeah, about dude. like what's happening and so then i feel mm -hmm. like i have my own type of mandela effect where i'm like did that actually happen or did it not happen or what oh yeah no i uh i'm right there with you I've, related. I've literally woken up being like like woken up in the house and like like austin will be at work already it'll be like a day off and i like wake up and i'm like and i'm like man i can't believe austin left me <laughs> like like yep, I had, like a horrible gone. nightmare about like austin leaving me for something i like didn't even do or something and like i wake up and i spend like i like wake up and i'm like laying there in bed for like 10 minutes like so sad about it and then i roll over and i look at my phone and there's a text from her being like have a good day see you later <laughs> and, like, and i'm like oh right okay that was yeah. a dream just a very very intense realistic ass dream yeah well it's let weird. me tell you up until you get married you're gonna have a lot of those it's the stress. <laughs> it's the stress of being engaged. But yeah, fantastic. Um, yeah, great. Have fun with that. Great. Can't wait. I already have so much. <laughs> uh, nah. Uh, but regardless, so so you still think this movie's bad? Because like, I think it's pretty good. I, I think I will say I think good. if if I would have watched it as a kid, I would have probably loved it. It's everything I want in like a kid movie. It's the adventure of it, but. I think it's because I truly watched it as an adult. And that's my question is that mm -hmm. do the Rotten Tomatoes, I mean, I guess who knows, but like do the people of Rotten Tomatoes, do they watch this with fresh eyes and they're like, I'm going to rate it. Like oh, I yeah, watched some this of for these, the very um, first time. And maybe the, that's why they rated it bad. Cause it's like, the, oh. uh, um, I try to go for, uh, the quotes. I try to go for, uh, ones that are like as close to the time that it came out as possible. Yeah. So I think both of those quotes were from like the year or the year after oh, like maybe okay. a couple years, like after the movie had come out, they like made their way to posting about it mm -hmm. or like, or like um, <clears throat> made their way, like, like wrote about it. Cause I think, um, cause it, I don't think it's like, cause I don't think Rotten Tomatoes was a thing in the nineties. Cause I mean, the internet yeah, wasn't sure as, as, as it was, but I think what it is is like, they like because the the one quote was from like a paper in illinois and mm -hmm. uh that's uh and so i think it's like i think rotten tomatoes like accumulates all of them and puts them up like yeah. after you know what i mean like after the fact so but i think so like i get as close as i can and like so somebody loved it and somebody hated it <laughs> during the well, time did have we looked at probably not we should we should have looked at what other movies came out in that year because it kind of seems yeah, like that kind of couple year span where there was a lot of these type of movies coming out and maybe it was just the saturation of it and maybe there was just way better ones and they're comparing it unknowingly yeah i always think about i think about that too because it's like well you know maybe this would have like, done better in a different time like a different year yeah. when everything else whenever when everything was trash yeah or if like a movie it's, not to keep comparing to Home Alone, but I'm like, if Home Alone <laughs> or something came out in a similar year, yeah, comparatively, mm -hmm. Home Alone is a lot better. And so you'd be like, oh, yeah, what was that other movie that came out? Didn't go all the way. Oh, it was okay. Like, mm, whatever. Well, okay, we got some we got some gas that came out in 1996. Uh, Mars Attacks, mm -hmm. which is incredible. Uh, uh, did you ever see The Cable Guy with Jim Carrey? Of Gary? course. Oh, That's of course. a weird-ass movie, but that yeah, would be great. Yeah, super weird. You got from dusk till dawn haven't seen that one. Oh, so good uh happy gilmore oof classic you got uh uh fargo which is incredible obviously yes. and then you have um 
Let's see. Let's look at some of these. What? Christmas. Your your mic's doing the thing again. <laughs> no, I'm getting clicky 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 clicky. Can you? Me? No, there's some kind of weird clicky clicky noise going. Some like staticky kind of thing over your over your voice, which is making it hard to hear. That's so weird. Can you hear me there now? It goes. Now, it's, now it's working. That's so <laughs> I strange. Know. Sorry. I don't, I don't know. Technology is fucking weird. Um, okay, I'll, I'll type in Christmas movies, but Independence Day also came out that year. So mm, obviously everything yeah. else that came out that year was garbage because like that's <laughs> the best movie that's ever been made. Let's yeah, see. of course. Type in Christmas. Let's make it a little more specific. What? No? <laughs> All right, here. Um, what the fuck is this? Oh, okay, never mind. I was like, I got confused. It doesn't matter. Um, apparently a bunch of fucking shit came out. There's a bunch of like Christmas specials that came out. Hmm. There's one I I've never heard of any of these. Father oh, okay. Frost. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> a sticky well. Christmas. Ew, that doesn't sound good. Okay. That, is. that doesn't sound good. The Ugly Duckling's Christmas Wish. Gee, I wonder what happens. I wonder what he wishes for. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... Well, so it does sound like it was the biggest Christmas thing of the year, but maybe it yeah, just it got uh, overshadowed by other stuff, but who knows? Everybody was still going to see Independence Day. Yeah. It was so fucking good. Like, yeah, because it might so have not been... Good. I guess it, there's a possibility it didn't come out around Christmas, though. It seems well, it unlikely. It came out November. But, oh, November. came out November, yeah. Did Independence Day come out on Independence Day, or is that too on the nose? I mean, it's I don't the know. perfect we're getting, time to we're... release it. <laughs> I have to know. That is now. true. Independence Day release. Day. go. Came out October 6th. Wait, no, that's a different movie. What the fuck? That's some other bullshit. I don't want that. Independence Day. <laughs> Damn it. July 3rd. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> so but yeah, everyone was definitely... Opening. Yeah, but they definitely left it out till Christmas. Everyone was still going, for sure. Absolutely. That shit played all year. <laughs> no fucking doubt, dude. Yeah. So your final opinion is that this movie sucks? You think? I feel like sucks is a strong word. Will I ever watch it again? No. Did, is it the worst? I, I definitely think, because you sent me the list of top 22 worst Christmas movies, I definitely think mm -hmm. it could have been further down the list if it's pretty high up, maybe mm -hmm. like six or something. I definitely think there's way worse. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, still still didn't still didn't love it. Hmm. I think I well, think it's just the, like, sorry to be, like, a feminist, but I'm like, I think it's the shitty mm -hmm. men of it all. I'm just like, yeah, mm, do better. I mean, you could be better. It's fair. Yeah, they're they're pretty terrible. All the men in the movie are fucking horrible, yeah. except for the children. <laughs> like, yeah, the oh, child, like, and then there's just kind of the one child. The other one's a little. Well, maybe we just feel like he's snotty because his dad's a, like absolute. Oh yeah, Ted's kid sucks. He's annoying. <laughs> yeah, but that's because he has a horrible uh, man whore of a dad. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and he's fair. like pushing Annie around in that one point, and you're like, hey. Yeah, dude, get off trying of to him. beat the shit out of him. Like, hey, man, he's the chosen one. You better back the fuck up. <laughs> like, yeah. You better back the fuck up. Darth yeah. Vader going to come and kick your ass, bro. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I hate to say it, but Instagram says it's good, so it's a good movie. <laughs> oh, well, if Instagram says it, then well, it must be like, good. Like 10 people who voted. Oh, the, the, the poll. The poll. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> the 10 people who voted, so 55% good. And I still think it's good. I was cracking up laughing at the audacity of this movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'll give it that Which it's got I a love. lot of that it has yeah. so much no that. for it's sure so fucking funny <laughs> no it's so good yeah oh fucking unabomber i can't believe it i, can't. I know I will, well, I'll, i mean i'll never get over it <laughs> my definite favorite part of the entire movie i wrote very early on was that he rides up on the side of the median and get or the side of the interstate and gets pulled over and i'm like sweet mm justice yeah every time God. every time i see that happen i'm that person that will try to like 
pull over so they can't yeah. get past. And yeah, then I got right. like absolutely cussed out one time I did it. And I was like, oh, that guy could have a gun. Maybe I shouldn't do that again. But <laughs> yeah. I was like, people, people, people go postal when they're driving. People, people do go postal. <laughs> so yeah. we got to be careful. No, yeah, but I've never that seen was somebody one. actually get pulled over doing that. They always no, just, me either. Oh, God. Uh, like, you're the worst. So if you're listening to this and you do that, don't you ever. Yeah, do don't do it. Don't yeah, fucking do don't it. Don't do it. Or don't Savannah's be that person. Gonna, Savannah's going to go postal. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't do it in Nashville. Listen, we got road rage here. Yeah, it's bad. It it's bad. It it's bad in Nashville. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but all right, it's good. It's a good movie. And you're wrong. Sorry. That's just mm-hmm. the long and short of it at this point. The people the people have decided once again all right. that this one is good. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, well, just post the poll again now that everyone it. listens to this and see if anybody changes their mind. How about that? You should do a pre and post. A pre and follow-up. post poll. All right, yeah. I'll do that. I'll yeah, do that. I'll release. I'll I'll do that after I release this this nonsense. Um, <laughs> and that poll will be on Instagram at Bad Movie Debate. All one word, all over clay. So easy to do. Just click follow. It's so easy. Hit, hit and then, the follow uh, button. If you, if you listen to this on Spotify, which is the only place you can listen to it, you can hit the follow button on there. It's also so easy. It's just, it's just a little click. And that, help, and that helps out a bunch. So do that. And you'll get more of this amazing content where we talk about Christmas and the Unabomber and mass shootings <laughs> perpetrated by <laughs> mailmen. Because uh, that's what Christmas is all about, right? That's right. Tis the season, everyone. Tis the season. Tis the season. So, go do it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.